Hey guys, and welcome to Mob Hopping, a new Minecraft challenge from the Creators Guild Discord. Here's how you play. Create a new world in creative mode. Make sure you're in hard difficulty and on a random seed. Give yourself an elytra and a stack of golden carrots. Set yourself to survival mode, then set the time to 11,000 and now you're ready to play. Teleport yourself upwards by 100 blocks with this command, then open your elytra wings and set out looking for a mob to land on. Once you've landed, punch the mob as quickly as you can. In the spirit of the challenge, try to punch the mob within 15 seconds. You can only punch one mob once you've landed, and it must be a new type of mob that you haven't punched before. So if you've already punched a sheep, you cannot punch another sheep, even if it is a different colour. If you cannot find a new mob to punch, the challenge is over. But if you manage to punch one, type the command again. You can do this by opening the chat, hitting the up arrow and then pressing enter, and fly off looking for a new mob to punch. The game ends when you can no longer find any new mobs to punch or you die. The highest mob hopping streak is the winner! But make sure at the end of the challenge you type slash time query game time, which will be used in case of a tiebreaker. The lowest game time wins. All rules are in the description, along with an optional data pack, which sets up everything at the beginning and gives you an item that you can right-click to issue the teleport command without having to type anything into the chat. Just drag and drop the data pack zip file into the new world like this when you create it. All right, so let's give this a go. And this is going to be basically my first go at this properly. Uh, mob hopping. And I am going to use the data pack, of course. And that'll get everything going right at the very beginning. And if you want to have a go at this, then um, yeah, you are welcome to. And remember that the uh, the link to the, the the Discord is down in the description. So if you want to take part in this properly and compete, if you are a content creator, then why don't you give that a go? Um, yep. Oh, is this? It's not going to be a survival island, is it? Don't think so. Don't think so. It might be. I think we're right on the ocean edge. But let's um. Let's give this a go. Bang! Okay, we definitely got an island of some sort. I can see a horse down there. So I'm going to start off by punching a horse. <laughs> I'm going to start off this Minecraft game, as we start off every Minecraft game, by punching a horse. <laughs> That's what you do, right? Boom. Okay, so no more horses. This is going to be the thing that I forget. I'm going to forget which mobs I've already punched. There's a sheep down there. So I'm going to punch a sheep. Hello! Alright, and again. Alright, no more sheep. I'll have to count up the streak in the video, because I'll never remember. This is something about me that you probably don't know yet. <laughs> I have a awful memory. I have trouble accessing things. <laughs> okay, we've got some pigs and some cows down here, so I can do both of those. And then I think it's just like chickens or something left as the normal passive mobs. So that should be easy enough to remember, but then we've got some... We've got the ocean right next to us, so we might look for some squid. There we go, got the cow, and away we go. Right. This one is a little bit dangerous. But we're gonna look for some squid. Gonna look for some squid. Not seeing any squid. <laughs> Come on, there's gotta be something. Getting dark. Why are squid not spawning? Oh no. <gasps> Squid! Swim! <laughs> a fish! Can you punch these fish? I'm sure you can. Yes, I got it! Okay, we got like a cod or something, I think. Whoa, that was close. That was close right then. We've got hostile mobs spawning, but I am going to dive right down to one of these squid. Doop. You know, we've got several things here right now. I saw some drowned. Will they have despawned as I went a hundred blocks into the air? That's an interesting thing. We've got some salmon. Try for a salmon. Come on. Yes, got the salmon. <laughs> this, this game is so dumb, but it, it's fun. <laughs> if you give this a go, I really hope you enjoy it. All right, let's try some hostile mobs then. Diving down. Okay, we're gonna go for the zombie. Oh, that hurts. All right, but we got a zombie. We got a zombie. Did I land heavily as well? I'm not sure. Gotta heal up. Can I eat one in the air? Sure. Sure. All right. Okay, okay, here we go. Creeper. 
Got some skeletons as round as well. As round. Skeletons are round. Come on then, creep. Out you go, and away we go. Alright, we haven't done a skeleton yet, and the Oh, there's a spider! I'll take a spider, they're kind of rare. Oh, we've got a village! Okay, this is pretty good. Come here. Gotcha. Off I go. <laughs> See, this is where the um, data pack really helps out, is that you can just... You can very quickly click and just get out of the area. Thing is, you can type it very quickly as well. That's what I was doing to begin with. In, I, I did like a... Oh, I've frozen. <laughs> I did like a test run. It was a slightly different game as I was testing it. Oop. Okay. All right, to the village. But yeah, this is this is definitely my first proper run at it, and I'm actually surprised at how well I'm doing. Let's find a villager. There's probably one inside a house. Don't want to hit the golem because I'll die. There's a cat. I don't want to hit the cat either. I could pretend I'm petting the cat. Oh no, no one in there. Quick, this one. No, I hit the button. I'm dead. <laughs> Uh, okay, well, you know what? I will call that my run. That There is a lesson for you guys. If you're running around, don't accidentally hit the button instead of opening a door. Uh. <laughs> I don't know if there was going to be a villager inside there anyway, but um, yeah, that was a pretty, pretty good score. Could have been a bit better if I'd got a villager or two, but that's a nice place to start off. Um, so yeah, if you want to give this a go, then then you're welcome to. And remember that the, the link to the Discord is down in the description if you're a content creator and want to join some other content creators and and support each other and, and play and uh, compete properly. And have a chance at setting the next challenge if you win, like I did last time. Anyway, thank you very much. Um, a special thank you to Giraffe Queen and Gragol for helping getting all of this set up. And yeah, I will see you next time. Bye! <laughs>